In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Project Elixir ROM based on Android 14 on your OnePlus 70 device. So to install this ROM on your device, there will be just one requirement which will be an unlock bootloader. So if you don't know how to do that or if you haven't done it before, there will be a link in the description below as well as on the right top corner of this video. You can go there, unlock your bootloader and then continue along with this video. So to install the Project Elixir ROM on your OnePlus 70 device, first go to the link in the description below and you will be on projectelixiros.com and hotdogb is the code name for OnePlus 70. Just scroll down on this website and click on download build. And once you click that, you will be taken to this website. Over here, you can just go down and click on the files. And just click on this Project Elixir 4.1 Hotdog B 14, which is for Android version 14. And once your download gets prepared, you can just click on this link and just copy it in new tab. And once you do that, your download will get started. As well as again, go to the Project Elixir official website, which we open. And close this tab and click on this recovery to download the recovery, which will help us to install this ROM on your OnePlus 70 device. And once again, just copy this link and paste it in a new tab. And just click on this recovery product elixir 4.1 hot dog p 14.0 and after five seconds as you can see both our files are getting downloaded and if it gives you this error unverified download blocked just click on that and click on download unverified file as it's completely safe so once both the file gets downloaded i will highly suggest you to keep it in a separate folder so that it will be easier for you to navigate around and once it's done you need to boot your device into fast boot mode and i'm going to show you how you can do that in just a while so first just shut down your OnePlus 70 device and then keep on holding volume up, volume down, power key all at once until you boot into fast boot mode. And here you can see unlocked. That means our bootloader has been unlocked. And if you haven't done that yet, so you can just go to the link in description below, unlock your bootloader and then continue along with this video. And once you are in your fast boot mode, connect your device to your PC using a USB. And once you have connected your device in fast boot mode to your PC, just go to the same folder where you have kept the ROM as well as the recovery file. And then just click on this search icon on top and type in CMD and press enter. Once you do that, just type in fast boot devices and press enter on your keyboard. And if you can see a strings of number along with fast boot written beside it, that means your PC has detected your device in fast boot mode. If not, there will be a link in description below to fix fastboot devices error on your Windows PC. You can go there and fix it and after that your device will be definitely get detected by your PC. So after detecting your device in fastboot mode, you have to just type in this command fastboot flash recovery space then just minimize it and copy the name of this entire recovery file you can just right click show more options and click on rename and then just copy the name of this entire file then again open your cmd window paste the name of the file using ctrl v and at the end type in dot img because it's an image file and after that press enter on your keyboard Once you do that, the recovery must be installed on your device now. So we need to now head back to our device. So once you go back to your device, just use the volume down key to reach to the recovery mode and then just press the power key to boot into recovery. And once you boot into recovery, you can see that we are on the project Elixir recovery. Just use the volume down key to reach to this factory reset option. Then just press the power key. Then again, press the power key and use the volume down key to reach to this format data then again press the power key to format the entire data on your device then click on the back icon on top left and now just use the volume down key to reach to apply update then again press power key to reach to apply update then again press power key on apply from adb and now again connect your device to your pc to install the room so once you connect your device in adb sideload mode to your pc 
just open any browser again and type in platform tools and search for it and just click on this first link on the top by android developers and after clicking on it just scroll down and click on download sdk platform tools for windows and just click on dismiss on this pop-up scroll down click on i have read and agree with the above terms and conditions and click on download android sdk platform tools for windows and once it gets downloaded just open the location of the file and move this file to the exact same folder where you have other project elixir files and i'll paste the platform tools folder over here and once you do that just right click on it and click on extract all and click on extract to extract the folder and once you do that just move this project elixir file right click cut just open this platform tools folder again open the platform tools folder and paste your rom file over here and once you do that just click on the search icon on top and type in cmd and press enter and now just type in adb devices and press enter on your keyboard And if you can see a strings of number and alphabet along with side load written beside it that means your pc has detected your device in adb side load mode now just type in this command to install the rom on your oneplus 70 device type adb space side load space now just copy the name of this rom file just like we did with our recovery file right click on it show more options rename plus Control C to copy. Open the CMD window again. Press Control plus V to paste. And write dot ZIP zip at the end because it's a zip file. And press enter on your keyboard. Now just wait for a few minutes until the ROM file get installed. And you can see that it has been started to get installed. And it will get completed by 47 itself and it will show some error. But it doesn't matter. It will still get installed on your device. So at 47% you might see a pop-up on your device saying that to install additional packages you need to reboot recovery first. Do you want to reboot to recovery now? So you just need to press volume down key and go to yes and press power key. And now it will be booted to recovery again. At this point the ROM has been installed on your device so now you can just disconnect your device from your PC and we can proceed with the further steps. So after the installation of the ROM now you just have to press power key on reboot system now so as it's our first boot into our system so it may take a while to load and boot into our system so if you're watching this video till now a sub to a channel we really appreciate it and if you're enjoying this video make sure to drop a like and comment down below if you're facing some issue or if you have some other demand of some other ROM or any other video and as you can see we have booted into our system and we have successfully installed the project elixir rom based on android 14 on a oneplus 70 device so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to like and if you're new to my channel and if you're interested in more tech related content like this make sure to subscribe so this is it for this video i'll meet you in the next one snap tech signing out so much, so much, it's our desire. Oh, ah, hey, it's our desire. So much, so much, it's our desire. Oh, ah, hey, it's our desire.